Okay, thanks a lot for the invitation. My name is Matthias Martinez. I work in the University of Haute de France. That's quite near from here, from Belgium. And I will present a collaboration. Yes. So, um, I will present a collaboration that we have uh, done with Martin Monperus. Maybe you know Martin Monperus. He's working on automatic software repair as me. He was working with me at the University of Lille. So, today the goal is to present Astor. Astor is a library or a framework for building automatic software repair approaches. Okay? So, the goal of this talk is to introduce automatic software repair and also present Astor. So, what is Astor? Astor is a framework for building automatic software repair approaches. Actually, it, it provides some routines that developers can reduce and also provides the implementation of five repair approaches that are already implemented and are already ready for use. So, how, how can we use Astor? So, Astor was used up to now for, let's say, the world, or academical world, researchers from different universities that they use Astor for creating new repair approaches or for extending those that are already uh, provided. But also was used for some uh, software uh, um, practitioners which use Astor, for instance, for creating software boots. One of those examples is Repanator. Is here the reference that was created for Simon Surli that was here um, in Fosdem, so you can discuss with him. That was a, a software boot that proposed pull request with bug fixes. So the agenda for today is to introduce automatic software repair, the domain, then to introduce Astor, the extensions that can be done, and some experiments. So, what is automatic software repair? So basically, is uh, so imagine that we have a program that is here I call P that has a bug. So the idea is to take our approach. Let's say right now approach. I, I will not mention details of what is this approach. That takes a specification of the program, the specification of P. Also, we can call it Coronet's Oracle. And the idea is to create a version P that is that his behavior is acceptable with respect with the with the specification or with the Oracle Coronet's Oracle. Additionally, this approach can consume, in addition to the source code and the specification, some artifacts, for instance, bug repair, reports, traces, etc. So, in this call, I will discuss, or I will mention two kind of approaches for automotive software repair. The first of them are the test suite repair approaches, that they use test cases as Oracle as a specification. So what is the idea? Imagine that we have the program P. The specification will be the test case. So that means that we, f we have one failing test case. That means that the program is buggy. Okay? However, if we have all the test cases that are passed, that means that the program is OK. It's valid. It's valid with respect with the specification. That means we respect with the test cases. So, that's the idea. So, the idea of this approach is to turn the behavior of, to change the behavior of the program with the goal of passing all the test cases. Okay? So, and the second family of repair approach that I will mention today is the family of generate and validate approach. So, the idea is to generate a candidate patch, to validate, and to see, and to see the result. That means, in this case, whether it passed all the test cases. 
if the result is not success, so it generates another patch until it finds a candidate patch that passes all the test cases. So there were present a lot of approaches from this family, the suite based repair approaches during the last 10 years. But the problem was that those approach was present in academia. So, and the prototypes, the code source, were not always avail available. Or in some cases, they were, were available, but for given languages. Okay? So, our idea was to create a platform for Java. That means written in Java and for repair Java code. Our idea was to implement the state-of-the-art repair approach and also to provide some extension points to create new repair approaches. So we create Astor. That the name came from Automatic Software Transformation for Repair. Okay, Astor is available in GitHub. It's quite easy to use. So basically, here I, I put an example of the command. Here we have an argument that is mode, and here we specify the name of the repair approach that we want to execute. For instance, here we present three, Shade and Pro, Shade Kali, and Shade Mute. I will explain, I will do a small summary of them before, uh, after, sorry. Then we say, okay, mode, here the repair um, approach that we want to run, the location of the, of the application that we want to repair, where is the source code, the dependencies of this project that we want to repair, and the output. So, which are the repair approaches that we have implemented? So, the first one is Shempro, which is one of the most cited paper in the field of automotive software repair. The idea is that Shempro create patches by inserting, replacing, and remove statements. It works at a level, level of statements. Then, another Repair approach that we have implemented is Shamut Repair. It's a very simple approach that basically it mutates operators. For instance, from here, from A greater than B, it mutates to A greater than and equals to B. Very easy, very simple repair operators. And Shay Kali, that the goal is to remove code. Okay? It remove statements, it adds return statements replace if expression, etc. This is a summary of some of the approaches that we have implemented and are already included in Astor. We have developed also new repair approaches, for instance, cardument, that here the goal is to replace expressions that by mining template that we create by, by analyzing the source code are creating new instances. And the repair, there is an extension of Astor, uh, for Shrimpor, sorry, that use similarity of code for creating new patches. So, here you have the URL to clone uh, Astor. Here, one example, as I mentioned before, the mode, the location, um, the dependencies. You can also specify the failing test case we need at least one failing test case. The idea of after is to transform the behavior of the program with the goal of that this failing test case pass, but also it tries to keep the behavior that is correct, that means the test cases that are not failing, that continues passing uh, all the test cases. And there are a lot of arguments, for instance, max time, that is the time that we give Astor to find, uh, to search a solution. Okay. So, what is the output? We provide three outputs. The first one, the standard output, that shows here a lot of information. 
for instance, here is one identifier of the solution and the patch. Then we provide a stand, uh, uh, an output in JSON format, okay, the same information. And also, in the file system, we write the patched format, the, the patched version of the program, of the file that was modifier, and the patch that you can apply them into your program. So, how does it work? So, the inputs of Astor are the buggy program and the Oracle. The Oracle, in this case, are the test cases. So, the first thing that Astor does is to compute the suspicions of components. That means that for each statement of the program, it computes or it puts the probability to that this statement is, is, uh, has a failure. Okay? It's a number from zero to one. And it's, uh, the, it computes the probability by running the test cases and, and measuring whether how many of them, uh, how many of failing test cases cover the, uh, the line. Then it creates a program representation. That means here we call to program variant a modification point. We'll see later. So while a given amount of time, it selects one suspicious, one suspicious line, okay? We call it modification point. Then we select an operator. We apply the generate, uh, to, we apply the repair operator to the statement to generate a patch. And then we validate the patch that means to execute all the test cases. So after we end this loop, if we find some solutions, we sort the solutions according to some, to some criteria. So every step can be customized. That means that we can overwrite the behavior, the default behavior of one repair approach. So this is the list of extension points. You can see that here each extension point can be executed in one step of the workflow. For instance, here the full localization, we can plug in a new implementation of the full localization. Here in the program representation, we can say, okay, instead of working at the level of statements, we can work at the level of expressions. Then here we can say, okay, we have these new repair operators. So this is the list of extensions that we provide. For instance, for localization, we have two implementations. Um, the list of operators that we provide, etc. So, how, how we use the extension points? So, it's quite easy. So, imagine that we have this extension point that is for localization. The for localization, what it does is to put the probability of suspicions on each modification point, in each statement of the program. So the idea is to, we have an argument that is for localization, and here we put the value. In the, in the, we have two approaches for for localization, one is Shea Solter, or the, the other is Coconut Spoon. We simply choose the value. But what happens if you want to create a new for localization approach? So imagine that we create a new full localization approach. That, uh, that uh, new code must implement an interface that we provide. And then we pass the name of the class that implement this interface that we have. So in the documentation of Astor, we provide for each modification point, which is the argument to, to use in the command line, and the interface to implement or the after class that should be implemented for each modification point. Okay. How time I, I do you have? Okay. Thanks. So I will detail three modification points. One is the granularity of a modification point. So the modification points are all the places that a repair approach all this, let's say all the places that the repair approach can modify. Okay? 
imagine that we have this code that has a bug. There are some approaches that work at the level of statements. That means that each modification point will be one statement. Okay? Then the repair approach will transform each modification point. That means in the case of statement, you will be replaced, remove, or add another statement. That means that the granularity of the that works a repair approach is a statement. However, we can change this granularity hmm, to work at the finer grain level. For instance, to work at the level of expression. That means that in this case, modification points are expression. That means that instead of replacing one statement, we can work and replace a particular expression. For instance, in this case, this method invocation, that is an expression, express, ex expression, sorry, or this operator. So, see another example that say, okay, instead of working at the level of expression, we want to work at the level of Boolean expression, okay? We want to modify only expression that are, which evaluation is Boolean. So that means that with this extension point, we can work or we can choose which granularity we want to uh, to work. That means to which granularity we want to generate the patch. Here we provide three or uh, four different implementation, but you can create more. So then, once that we have choose the granularity, that Astor does is to create from the program under repair DST. We use a spoon for that. Then we compute the the suspicions of each line. So actually, the, the implementation of for localization that we use work at the level of, sta of lines. So you put for each line of the code the suspicions values. Then we say, okay, given a, an, an AST, we are interested of some, only some uh, subset of AST nodes, okay? That is according with the granularity of the modification point that we want. Imagine that we want to work at the level of statements, we only choose the nodes that are statements. Or if we want to work at the level of Boolean expression, we only choose the, the nodes that are Boolean expressions. And then we create the modification point by combining the information from granularity and suspicions. So finally, once that we have the, all the modification points, sorry, we need to the repair operator. That means the operator that we will apply on each location. So for that, after it has an extension point to say, okay, which are the operators that we provide. We can reduce the operator that we have already implemented, or we can create new ones. So here also we have an, an argument that is operator space that we can put the value of the operators. In this case, suppression means all the operators that remove code. But also we can create new uh, operators by, here we have the interface, or sorry, the after class, with some methods. One of them is, it can be applied to point. It receives a modification point, that means, for instance, a statement, and return true or false, whether this operator can be applied to this point. And another, method that, we, uh, that must be implemented by an operator is given a modification point to create an instance or a list of operator instance. That means a list with possible changes that can be done in this point. Here the same, if we have new operators in new classes, we can pass in the repair operator uh, argument. Okay, finally we have some extension points that are related with 
ingredients. So in that case, so for instance, here, ingredient pool definition, selection of ingredients. So what is ingredient in this context? So Astor has two kind of operators. One is what we call autonomous operator that are used, for instance, for shape mutation repair. There are operators that don't need any information. Okay? Imagine that this if. So we can apply a mutation in this operator, in the operator greater, and we have here different candidates. However, we have another category that is ingredient-based operator. That means that this operator to synthesize the patch needs some information. This information can be another piece of piece of code, a template, whatever. For instance, Station Pro has two ingredient-based operators, add and replace. That means imagine that we have a statement and we want to replace one statement. We need another statement to be the replacement. So imagine this case that we have this suspicious statement, this assignment, and we have an operator that from Shen Pro that say add a new statement after this suspicious. So here the question is okay, what statement we should add? So Astor has an ingredient pool which has all the candidate statement that can be inserted here. Then it will select one, let's say random, let's say person M, and create the new patch. So this extension point allows to create different strategies for creating the ingredient pool. So that means to creating this database of possible uh, ingredients, possible that we will use to create the patch, for selecting one of them, and for transforming this ingredient, for instance, to replace the variables that are not of the scope. Here we have implement for this extension point strategies that are materialized in the deep repair approach. Basically, here we have implemented one strategy to select ingredients according to the similarity and another strategy for adapt an ingredient that has variables out of the scope according to the semantic meaning of the identifiers. So we have done several evaluation of Astor or the approach that are built of Astor. One of them was, um, it's based on one data set of bugs that the name is uh, defect for shape that has different open source implement, uh, approaches, uh, sorry, um, bugs. Imagine that here each bug, so for instance for common lungs, the data set has 65 bugs and on average they have 2,000 um, test cases. That means that they are large applications. And here, our approach repair, for instance, in this experiment, repair 33 bugs out of 224. That means a 14%. 14%, uh, sorry. That means that this repair, this dispatch that we are uh, that we are able to generate, produce that all the test cases pass. Okay, but. It doesn't mean that the repairs are correct. Why? Because there are some changes that produce that the, all the failing test case pass, but are not correct. And why are not correct? Because the specification is weak. That means that it's missing some inputs for validate the, test, the candidate patch. So the thing that we are working right now is to try to uh, create new test cases to have more test cases for validating our patches. 
So, conclusions. So, I have present a repair framework for, for repairing Java code and is implemented in, in Java. Includes three repairs uh, algorithms that were uh, presented by the, the research community. We also provide some extension points for creating new approaches. So the source code is available. So if you have any questions or bug fix or improvement or collaboration, don't hesitate to, to contact us. Okay? Okay, thanks a lot. You have any questions? Yes. Yes. So, the question that he, your name? This, this actually, uh, yeah, more so. Uh, if it is offline, uh, how about using uh, the fact that test can run? Uh, you instrument the some lines of code. Yes. Have to pronounce uh, the lines of code which may be actually can be a substitution. Yes. Actually, the yes. So uh, his question is that our approach is offline, right? correct me. Uh, then we instrument the code, okay? We run all the test cases, okay, that we have, all the instrumented program, and using this information, we compute the suspiciousness of each line of the program. That is based on the coverage of the test cases. And based on this information of suspiciousness, we compute some, um, let's say, suspiciousness matrix to know to have an order of the list of suspiciousness. And then we apply repair operators over these uh, suspiciousness statements. Yes? Sorry, which, uh, which uh, function? Okay, so he question, uh, his question is about the speed of patching. So the time that that the approach is take to find a patch. So it will depend of the search space of the of the program. For some patches, the search space is quite uh, small because the suspicion is is uh, super space is small. So for that, it will take some minutes. For others, it takes around hours. 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 So, um, so it, actually, we run the experiments for two, three, four hours. No more than that. Um, one last question on No, no, no. So the question is if we have applied the question in C++. Yeah, how, how much you can transfer that stuff in this other... We, we, haven't, tr we, we haven't tried with another, um, with another uh, programming language, so okay. to, to repair another programming language. But for instance, for the approach that we have implemented Shape, Shape Proc, yeah. the original Im uh, implementation yeah. is for repairing C code. So that means that this approach is already implemented in C, in C code. Okay, so if there's no more questions, thank you for the answer. Thanks.